How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SoFi which was up just over 2.5% on the day despite the fact that the market fell off a cliff. Again, this stock continues to show a lot of strength. I'll talk about it further in the video. I won't be wasting any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support we want to know resistance we want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario and then we're going to go on fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information the reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs and then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution we want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side and then when all of that is done we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's get to it so we're going to do a test Technical analysis for SoFi, let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $7.23, being up 2.55%. On the low, it tested $6.80, and then on the high, testing $7.56. So when we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 53.488 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 65.19 million shares. So you can see right away, we did have below average volume but we still saw some strength in the stock now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it is at 53.20 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 200 day the 100 day the 50 day and we are above the 21 day EMA unfortunately today we ended up breaking our pattern in regards to higher lows but guess what we are still continuing to have higher highs we ended up seeing a high today at seven dollars and 56 cents so if we see the markets picking back up tomorrow since we did see a lot of weakness today I'd want to see SoFi getting to around seven dollars and 79 cents which is where we have the 50 day moving average not too far off from the seven dollar and 56 high that we saw in the day so that's an area you're going to want to keep a very close eye on and if we're able to actually catch this level then I'd want to see us making a test whether it would happen for next week and so forth a move to eight dollars we know this will be a psychological area for SoFi there will be some selling but if we're able to actually get past this level and we know we have a gap that needs to be filled to the upside right here around 848 you can see the cursor says 847 but again filling in that gap would definitely be a great look for this play now if we end up deciding to have a pullback I'd want to see us hold on to support at least around the 21 day EMA which is at 674 and the low of the day was right at 680 so not too far off and if we were going to break through that level of course I'd want to see six dollars continue to hold and if we break below six we already know we have a gap to the downside right around 578 now let's move on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi as we scroll down on the page green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so when we take a look at the recent filings for the 17th we have advisors asset management Inc that purchased 3,700 182 shares and then we also see sim investment management inc that purchased 44,362 shares and as far as for the others i feel we already covered now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratio is at 51.23 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 12.01 million shares scrolling down on the page the short shares availability is at 40,000, updated 21 minutes ago and then for the short bio fee rate it is at 7.52 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 16th it was at 55.63 and then for the close of the 17th being at 51.23 and then taking a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 19.87 percent SoFi does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SoFi. So we see on the inflow it's at 78.42 million and then on the outflow it is at 75.94 million. So we had an inflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large it was zero, on the medium it was 50.14 and then on the small it was 28.28. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0.75. On the medium, it was 47.28. And then on the small, it was 27.91 million. 
Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for May the 18th, we had that outflow of 0.75 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at the large, which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 5.85%. So this continues to be a consistent range for SoFi and we are seeing a lot of volatility in the play. And it's also clear to see as far as for the order flow, there's still a lot of interest on the retail side as well. Now let's move on to the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for SoFi, when it comes to the price action, we ended up seeing a high of $7.56. So going into tomorrow, of course you want to see strength above this level. Most preferably, I would love to see us getting into at least a $7.80 range because if we're able to claim this level, I want to see that move going to $8. We know that $8 is a psychological area and there could be a good amount of selling pressure as well. But we have to know that the gap as far as to the upside is very close since it's right around $8.48. So again, keep an eye on those levels if you're looking for a bullish move up. Now, if we decide to have a pullback, we ended up seeing a low at $6.80. And as far as for the 21 day EMA, it is around $6.74. So if we continue to have price action above this level, SoFi does continue to look bullish. The only time I can see a reversal or we end up having a strong move to the downside is unless SoFi breaks below $6. We also know there's a gap that needs to be filled right around $5.78 as well. So pay attention to those levels, but at least you have a game plan as far as for the upside and as well as for the downside. Again, you need to have these options available to you if you are a trader and you want to take advantage of the volatility. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership, we could see institutions are loading up on shares. Plus, on top of that, taking a look at the short interest information, SoFi does continue to have short squeeze potential. And if we continue to have a sell-off inside of these markets, I am looking for SoFi to actually pull back. It's only for so long that a stock can continue to go up while the overall market market is continuing to show some weakness. We have to be realistic here. But if we end up having some buying picking up going into tomorrow or even on Friday, then I'm looking forward to seeing SoFi getting closer to those levels to maybe where we can get around that $8 range. Again, this is the best case scenario here. But if we decide to consolidate and we can close the week at $7, it definitely does get it ready going into next week. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I really can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.